Uh, greetings, math fans. All right, this is the last topic in Calc A. This is very exciting. So um, our topic today is I'm going to uh, introduce dy. And we refer to dy as called a differential. Okay, you guys heard the word derivative. This is a differential. And basically, let's just come up with the idea here. I'm going to say let y equal f of x. Okay, so then if I take the derivative, dy dx, isn't that equal to f prime of x? And really, this is a quotient. It's dy um, change in y with respect to x, or d change in y over change in x. Okay, and uh, we kind of know that actually from the yaks, right? Okay, y over x. But what I can do is, uh, since I'm again introducing dy, I can cross multiply and I get dy is equal to f prime of x dx. All right, so a couple things here. First of all, when we talk about independent and dependent variables, right, if I told you like y equals 3x plus 4, do you guys agree x is our independent variable? And y is our dependent variable. Okay? So independent, of course, you can pick any value you want for x, and then you plug it in. And then so y depends on x. So um, looking at this guy right here, the dy equals f prime of x dx, the, we have two variables here that are independent, so we're just going to label that as IV independent variables, and then this guy here is our dependent variable, DV. Okay, so let's just start out with a problem here. I have two examples I want to show you. Uh, first example is find DY, uh, then evaluate DY. Alright, so uh, I give you guys uh, an equation, a function here, y equals 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. And I tell you x equals 3 and dx, change in x, equals negative 1. Okay, so really what you're doing here, math fans, is you're just taking the derivative of both sides. Okay, when you have a y, you take it with respect to y. When you have an x, you take it with respect to x. So the derivative of, of y is 1 dy. And then I can I can split this up. I'm going to actually kind of show it to you two ways. But I'm taking the derivative with respect to x here. Uh, of course, that's a constant, so that's just 0. So do you guys agree uh, the derivative of 3x squared is just 6x? The derivative of 5, or negative 5x, is negative 5. And then it's dx, right? You always have to include that derivative after you, after you take the derivative. you got to put the dx there. Okay, kind of like when we did it implicitly. That's probably a good uh, example. In fact, our next example is doing it implicitly. And that's our answer. It's dy. So when I said find dy, this is your answer. All right, and then plugging it in is dy is equal to 6 times 3 minus 5 times negative 1. So dy is equal to uh, 18 minus 5 is 13 times negative 1. So dy is equal to negative 13. Right? It's pretty easy. dy is actually very, very easy. All right. Um, but notice here, I'm not, there's no dy dx or dy dt, right? I'm taking, it's nothing with respect to, it's just taking the derivative of y because I, you know, the way I first uh, solved it, right? I had dy dx equals f prime of x. And this guy right here is your f prime of x times dx, right? All right, so let's do uh, one more example. This is a pretty fast lesson here. Uh, another word is, is fine, or no one here is defined dy. And this is a little more complicated. So 5x plus 2y is equal to 3x squared y. Now, you could solve for y here, but, you know, it's going to actually make it more challenging because if you solve for y, um, you're going to divide things out, and um, it's going to be, you know, kind of a nastier using quotient rule and anything. It's just kind of complicated. 
I always told you guys, if it looks complicated, just do it implicitly. Okay, it's so much easier to do it as opposed to trying to solve for some variable. So, um, just kind of some of our properties of of uh, derivatives, which we have to use here. Oh, I need to give you uh, x equals two, and dx equals three. Okay, so implicitly, I take the derivative of both sides, and you guys agree I get. Or I can what I can do is I can. I'm going to split this up just to show you. Derivative of five x plus derivative of 2y equals the derivative of 3x squared y. Now I can even do this guy right here. Can I just take that 3 out? Our nice little uh, constant multiple, I can take that out. So I have 3 times dx squared y. I think it's actually easier as opposed to keeping that 3 in there and trying to use the product rule with a 3 in there. It just makes it a little more complicated. All right, so let me actually just write this out again. All right. So uh, derivative of 5x is just 5 dx. Derivative of 2y is uh, 2 dy. And then that's equal to 3. And we're going to use the product rule, right? It's the first times derivative of the second, so times dy, right, or 1 dy, plus the second times derivative of the first times 2x dx, right? Okay, hopefully you guys agree with that. All right, and let's uh, yeah, five, Let's uh, combine or uh, distribute that 3. Plus 2dy is equal to uh, 3x squared dy plus 3, actually it's plus 6, right? Plus 6xy dx. And I'm trying to solve for dy, so let's move stuff over. Um, so let's group dy together. Here we've done that in the past. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'll move it to dy over. So I get uh, 3x squared dy minus 2dy equals... Uh, 5dx minus 6xy dx. Okay, and then of course you can factor dy out of here. So I get dy times 3x squared minus 2 equals 5dx minus 6xy dx. Okay, so let's keep going here. Uh, divide both sides by 3x squared minus 2, 3x squared minus 2. So dy is equal to 5dx minus 6xy dx all over 3x squared minus 2. All right, and uh, just because it's on top there, but x equals 2 and dx equals 3. And uh, now you're going to say, okay, well, let's start plugging things in. Ah, but we can't do that. Why can't we do that? Because we have this nice little friendly y here, and I have no idea what that y is. So how do I figure out the value of y? Well, look at our original problem here. Okay, our original problem was on top here, right? 5x plus 2y equals 3x squared y. Well, let's plug in um, x equals 2 and find out the value of y. That's pretty easy. Okay, so again, we're going to find y first. Okay, and again, it's going to be 5x. Let me just write the equation out here so you see it again. 5x plus 2y equals 3x squared y. And then plug in uh, 2 for x. So you get 5 times 2 plus 2y equals 3 times 2 squared times y. So you get 10 plus 2y is equal to 12y. Subtract 2y, so you get 10y is equal to 10. So y equals 1. Okay, so now we have y equals 1, x equals 2, dx equals 3. And I can plug it into this guy right here. All right, so let's just do it right over here. dy is equal to 5 times 3 minus 6 times uh, 2 times 1 times 3 all over 3 times uh, 2 squared minus 2. 
Okay, let's move this down a little bit here. And uh, so we get dy is equal to 15 uh, minus 36. And that's going to be uh, 12 minus 2 is 10. So dy equals 15 minus 36 is negative blackjack. I mean, uh, negative 21, sorry. Uh, so we get negative 21 over 10. All right, that's it. So those are our two answers. That's dy. Uh, as the value and where you have that red arrow right here, that is dy as a function. All right, so really pretty easy. Just take the derivative with respect to x or y, depending on what it is, and uh, make sure you solve for dy, and you're good to go. All right, that's it, math fans. That is our last unit uh, of Calc 8. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, Calc 8 as much as I did, and uh, good luck in Calc BC. Adios, math fans. Goodbye.